Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Adam Douglas coming at you from the lion's den, as it were, um, with a little tutorial video, actually. I had uh, several requests lately on um, folks just wondering basically how I go about playing some of the tunes off of my latest record. Uh, in particular, this one here that was a big single called I Once Was an Honest Guy, and uh, it's a piece of cake. So I figured I could just let you all in on the the little secret, even though there's no secret at all. Piece of cake. Um, but I'll show you how I do it at least. Of course, there's different ways to do it, but this is how I did it on the record and how I tend to do it. As you can see, I am um, getting a little help from some open strings since we're in the key of A flat. Um, I'm putting capo on the first fret. You don't have to do that. You can, of course, bar the whole thing and play the riff and pull it off. Um, and be cool, but uh, I like to take the easy route and just capo the first fret. It makes everything in A flat nice and easy. This particular tune, um, I'm only using the uh, middle strings, I guess, and so I'm not using the the top, in this case F, since we're capoed. So I'm not using the high E or the low E strings in the main riff. Um, I'm basically just sussing. The, uh, the D, G, and B, pull off, hitting the C sharp, and back. So that's the left hand. Pull off, C sharp, open again. Okay? And then on the, the rest of the riff is... Of course, the real magic comes in, or magic, it comes in the right hand, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but the rest of the riff goes up, just a triad, piece of cake, again, only on the uh, D, G, and B strings. Right? For that alternate one, I'm just sliding up and hitting that B-flat and C-sharp. Okay? And those are just on the D and G strings. That's the main riff, right, in your left hand. Um, the real piece of the puzzle, I guess, that, that is stumbling some people, I don't know why, but uh, it's my poor technique, or my own technique, in the right hand. Um, I'm always holding a pick, although I only use it about, I don't know, 10% of the time, but it's always there. I'm not using it at all in this tune, um, so it's all finger style. You can, of course, play with a pick if you want. Sure, you can get away with that. Um, I don't. I like the control, to have a little more control out of my right hand the whole thing and grab and pull and pop the strings with my right hand. So basically I'm laying my index finger, middle finger, and ring finger on the G, D, and B strings. And that's what I'm pulling to get the anytime I hit those open. Anytime I hit those, I'm pulling those. And I'm reserving my thumb for that A string, which is basically only that C sharp note. So Of course, also, since I'm playing finger style, I can mute the strings I don't want, so I don't want those in there at all. And I can grab and pull, I can silence the strings I don't want, I can mute them. That's how I get the whole rhythmic effect. Otherwise, it's a piece of cake riff, right? Right? Okay. Verses. It's just a C sharp sus. And back. Now on the record, I actually did them up here. Using that same grab technique, thumb and three fingers. So I'm using four fingers technically if you're counting your thumb. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger. And the pick's in there somewhere. Yep. Refrain. P. 
piece of cake. I did an old bar chord, right? Everybody's favorite. But I'm barring the whole thing and getting those nice notes on top ringing out. Without the bit. Right? So that's it. I'm hitting barring that E flat up to F, C sharp, piece of cake. In the bridges, there's two sort of, there's a C section that happens one time shorter than the other. It's just um, with a capo, it's a G shape and a C, piece of cake. Of course, those are really A flat and C sharp. Right? Sound familiar? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> that's what's happening in that bridge section. The real, the second bridge that happens, uh, a little bit more happens there, and we go on, we go further. Uh, we start with that A flat and C sharp. A few times. Then we hit a C, I believe it's C7, F minor. And we go all the way up to an E. Major seven. It's that version. That gets you out of the bridge and back to the original riff. Piece of cake. Questions, concerns, hit me up. Have fun, everybody.